Hey, what's up everyone? I'm finally back and I'm sorry for being MIA these past few months, but seriously though, if I can give you one piece of advice is this. Always take care of your health and get some good night's sleep. And with that, for today's exciting news, this video is sponsored by Electro, your one-stop electronic manufacturing partner whether you need some lora modules integrated pcbs or display screen they got you covered and speaking of screens electro was kind enough to send us three of their displays to unbox so let's get right to it okay so let's check out the first one this is the esp32 Display 4.3 inch HMI display, 480 by 272 RGB TFT LCD touchscreen, which is compatible with Arduino and LVGL. So that's something I don't know, but okay. So this one, since this is a TFT LCD resistive touch, so it has cable. The actual screen, USB Type C cable, and a very very cute stylus. So let's check out the screen. Okay. Okay. So this um is comparable with the cheap yellow display that is often used by hackers. And let's see all of the ports that it has or extensibility that it has as you can see it has a gpio a uart and uart1 uart0 there's the power button battery the usb-c socket so just the battery the micro sd and this is where you put your external speaker as you can see, ESP32. This is an S3 version too, so that is really, really nice. Now, the price for this is around $15, okay, on Alcro's website. I'll be giving the link down below. So let's take a look how it looks like if we plug it in. Okay, so it should have the Alcro there that is the electro stock ROM that they usually put on ESP32 okay. let's use this okay so not bad this is just $15 folks and it already has an ESP32 S3 included inside of it not bad. Now, what comes included with that one, or something that you can buy as an add-on, is the acrylic panel for it. And this is how the acrylic panel looks like. As you can see, there are different cutouts on the different types of, what you call it, modules that, or not, expansions that, that will make it available. Like, for example, the UART modules, the GPIO modules, it will give you space for it. So this, I will be showing you the assembled one when we test out the screen on the future videos. Okay, so the next one that we have is an ESP32 4.3 inch. This is called the Advanced Series. Now, the reason this one is called the Advanced Series is, we will see at the moment. The next moment so this is the usb type c and some connector cables that we have so it already you can order it with the acrylic case included uh-huh it has the same inputs or extensibility that you, that you can get with the other one earlier you are zero you are one speaker and yeah, this one but this same you are zero in oh so this is in this is out okay 
and it also has the micro SD card and this one the S1 S0 um, is something that you can I mean if you are familiar with my some of my M5 stack video these are the same one that, that you can control with it okay now this one has a lot more pixel density this is about 800 by 4 8 um, resolution this is IPS capacitive touch display again it is it's saying um, like the other one it has an ESP32 S3 module inside it and since this is equipped with a microphone and a speaker this supports voice command interaction with smart AI functionality voice recognition and speech synthesis that's why this is called the advanced one now it does have some replaceable plug-in wireless module in here with pre-installed firmware support and like this so for example let's see the modules that they gave to me this one has mesh tastic this, this one has the NRF2401, like the one that we have on the Bruce firmware hardwares that we use. This one is ESP32C6, and this one is ESP32H2. Okay, these are the additional modules that you can order together with this one. Okay, now, one thing that it has... Also, it has this real-time clock function. If you have ever created some of those Ponagotchi ones where, where you have to solder <laughs> and time clock, a real-time clock on it, that is really a pain to do. And this one supports multiple environments like Arduino, Espressif IDE, and the LBGL graphics library. So let's take a look. What it looks like when you check out this screen. Okay, as you can see, this is a lot more crisp and brighter than the one that we have checked earlier. Okay. Same module, same performance, but the screen is a lot more crisper this time around and it has an AI functionality and all for the price of $39 again check out the link down below it's really really nice and future videos I'll be showing you what we can do with this and it is a very very solid device and lastly this is the Crow panel ESP32 5.79 e paper HMI display. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this one, so it only has the USB C inside it. When I first saw this one, I was really amazed how big this is. So, this is an e paper. So, for all of you who know what e paper is, this is usually used as an ultra low power consumption for ultra low power consumption projects. So this is 272 by 792 resolution and it already has also an ESP32 S3 inside of it. Okay. Now this does not have does not need continuous power like other e-paper for have a display or for it to display any static content in it. So it has, let's see, what are the ports? So USB-C, some extensions, that is the ESP32. This is the micro SD card. And yeah, we have this pins and I'm sure there's something on the website to map it out to the same ESP functionality so that you can extend to it. Okay. Now, this one will cost you about $32. And the thing is, um, 
this is really really nice project for those screens that you need that doesn't need a lot of refreshing and doesn't need a lot of what you call it the information just stays static and doesn't need a lot of update let me show you how nice it is so let's plug it in Mm -hmm. See? Oh, see how nice it is. So you can change also. You can reverse it. This is not touch screen, by the way. And you can use the menu using this wheel. So description, then you can click image and it will refresh. Oh, that's the back button. So this is the description. Or, the, or is it the reset button? Okay, I'll figure it out. Okay, so, oh, you can press, you can press this wheel button too. So this one the, is the reset. And this one, this one is the home, this one is the reset. Okay, so home. Okay, you go image, then you press it. Let's see it display an image. See. Aha. Uh -huh. I already have a lot of ideas that I can use, but as you can see, that image is so, so beautiful. For those of you who loves e-paper display, this one is really, really big. This one is really, really good. Let's go back. Let's see scenarios. Oh, okay. So like lamp control on. Bedroom. Okay. So uh, showing you like for example this is something that you can use for your smart home yeah this is really really nice a really nice esp32 display that you can use so those are the three displays that electro is kind to bring to me so this one as you can see if you want a very budget friendly display for only 15 dollars with an esp32 already in it this is the way to go and if you are trying to get into those ai things voice recognition this is the one that you should get with a very very nice colored screen and this one this one's just just beautiful anything that doesn't or any project that you have that doesn't need a display or like a display that is always changing a static display something that you need on sunlight i mean you can easily see in sunlight this is the way to go on e-paper okay and this really really big as you can see so, again, thank you very much, Alecro, for this one. These are all of the screens that they have sent me. Hey, thank you for watching. And with this Alecro screens unbox, my next few videos will focus on trying them out. And so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of those upcoming tests and projects. Till next time, keep on hacking, my fellow hockey stuff.